With your past injury and age, do you think that you've peaked with your lifting career, or do you think that you can retake some of the world records? Um, let's just, do you think that you've peaked with your lifting career? Let's just go with that. Do you think the injuries are... Yeah, well, this is not my, not my first injury. It's just the first time I've had surgery to fix stuff. But, um, yeah, I think I'm having fun. I think what I've learned is, you know, there's a – I mean, whenever you change your protocol, just, you're, you're learning. You, you learn to uh, plan better. And the approach that I'm training with now is it's certainly geared towards lifting more and competing and breaking more records. That's definitely the goal. Um, I think the way that I approach training is just a little bit more intelligent, given the new information that I have, you know, how does, how does my body feel? Um, I feel, I feel good. The way I've been approaching my training this last year, making some adaptations, I've been focusing on training my back much more heavily. And it's like, I have a lot more strength to gain there. Um, that, one of my favorite things about training is when you've had an injury and you sort of say, how do I kind of train around stuff? Yeah. And a lot of times, when I've like this year, I've put more focus on my conventional deadlift than I have in like the last eight years. And what's been fun about that is I like conventional deadlifting, but I've always trained for meets sumo because I'm stronger. And so I've never had a chance to really like prioritize the training for it. And now it's actually gotten to the point where it's probably going to surpass what I was pulling sumo before. Um, and I've learned a lot of, you know, I've learned a lot of methods about how to strengthen my back. So I feel like there's, I mean, it'll take a lot more injuries before I'm yeah. not looking at like lifting more weights. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of a trick question because it's, <clears throat> with, with most people I know or have known, with every injury, it's always, fuck, how long is this one going to take? <laughs> All right. When you don't ask that question, then you know you're pretty much done. <laughs> you know, when, when that doesn't come out. But it's, you've. You've been competing for longer than what most people know. So how many years have you been competing? Yeah, my, my first competition was in 2007. So 2007. Been 11 years. So I think I've done years. about like 25 or more competitions. Yes. <clears throat> what, outside of training, because we discussed that, you know, and I don't really think it's so much of an age thing. I think it's a training age thing. It's a wear and tear thing. You yeah. know, it's the number of meets that you do, every meet takes a little bit more out of your sure. life and your soul <laughs> and everything else, you know, that, that comes from that. Um, how do you approach the meets now compared to when you had five under your belt? Um, well, in the last year, I mean, the, I did a couple of meets where I just did bench only because my knee was still messed up. Mm -hmm. And that was a very like luxurious kind of way to train. <laughs> just just show up and bench like it doesn't get any better than that. But unfortunately, I'm not good enough at that where I would just stick to doing that. <laughs> but uh, this will be my first full meet. I'm actually going to be competing March 31st at a TSA Jesse Burdick's gym in uh, Dublin, California, and that'll be my first full meet back in uh, you know in a year. So. My approach, I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm excited for it, you know. And I'm also not putting like too much pressure on myself. You know, because basically I've learned, you know, there's only so much you can do. Are you using you this to put just the kind of get your feet wet? Or are you using this to try to really go after? I mean, I'm training records. as hard as I can. But, you know, if I build up my squat and I have, you know, some arbitrary number in my mind of what yeah. I'm going to lift, you know, months and months out, that's like really easy to write down oh, yeah, of course. goals on a piece of paper. But what I've, you know, what I'm trying to focus on is, you know, just train with good quality of lifting every week. And when I feel good, push it. And when I feel like be smart and back off a little bit, then I do. So I think I'll be able to surpass, you know, what I've done before. I feel really strong, but at the same time, it's like, it's, it's just going to happen. I'm yeah. going to put the weights on the bar. I'm going to lift them or I won't. And yeah. then <laughs> that's kind of the plan right now. So that's the nature of the sport. Yeah. <laughs>